Hi, Mark, the techno there, your music tech geek. Okay, so two things today I want to discuss. First of all, an update on Aurac, and then to discuss the hidden Easter egg mode that someone's now discovered. Okay, so first of all, um, I've uploaded now the final release of Aurac 2.0 to the all the normal places, so you can go and download it. So that means it's out of beta. Um, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank everybody that's reported bugs or made suggestions, etc. I think that the release is much better for that feedback, so thank you for that. I also, I was at Superfood for last week. Um, I'd like to thank all the people that came up and said hi. Uh, it was really fun to actually know that somebody out there is actually listening and meeting people in the real world, face to face. Great, fantastic, thank you. Okay, so now on to this Easter egg mode. Da -da -da. So <laughs> this is for the organelle only because what the Easter egg mode is, is it allows you to run vanilla organelle patches directly within ORAC. <laughs> this is quite a lot of fun. Um, so normally what has to happen is an organelle patch that exists already, you have to convert it into a module, you have to add parameters, etc, etc. And that takes a little bit of development effort. I've made it simple, but it still takes an effort. However, some musicians out there just want to use their favourite uh, patch, but within ORAC, and to use the facilities like being able to add FX, etc. So this is what it does. Now, why is it called an Easter egg mode? And this is important. It's an Easter egg mode because it's not something that's a goal of ORAC. Um, there are, the reason that modules exist and the reason they need converting is for very good reasons to overcome quite a few limitations, which we're going to discuss later. Um, so this is not something that I'm going to support as such. It, um, I'm not going to be able to tell people why uh, a particular organelle patch does or doesn't work. It's not really important uh, to me because it's not part of ORAC. However, it's still very useful. Um, I've already used quite a few different organelle patches. They all work fine so far um, within the limitations that I'm going to talk about later. So let's get on to it. I'm going to show you how to do that now. I've the Easter egg from Patch Storage. See the video description below. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is expand that so we've got the Easter egg folder here. Then the second thing is we've also loaded up the USB strip stick that you use for your organelle. Um, you can do this on the SD card, it's the same process really. Um, when we open that up, you'll see that when you actually installed ORAC, it actually created these media and data folders. The media actually holds things like the samples, but we're interested in here the ORAC user module folder, which is where we store um, our own third party modules. So we're going to open that up. Uh, we're going to create a new folder because Modules are stored in categories, uh, so synth, FX, etc. But I'm going to create a new category called hack here, which is because I think these are all kind of hacks really, and I like to keep them separate. So we create that, go into here, and we can bring the Easter egg folder directly into here. So we'll be able to run that and show you that. It doesn't do very interesting, but that's okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a couple of CNG ones and we're going to do those. The first one is drone. I'm going to actually rename this to get rid of spaces, etc. And just call it drone. Now, what we need to do here is we also need to copy these module files, just module and uh, PD file. And what we do is do that, copy that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold shift on the Mac, sorry, alt on the Mac, so it copies it. Okay, and that's, that's that done. Now, the final thing we need to do, and this is important to remember, is we need to rename the main.pd to patch.pd. That's it. We're done. So now what we can do, that, that one is now done. So remember, let's do it again. Let's see what the process is. So we've got our hack directory. We're going to copy in a new synth. So this is an, a simple organelle, organelle patch, nothing else change just click on it you might want to change the name I yeah just change the name then uh, again we can see the contents of it it's all here so what we do is we're going to take these two files here and copy these into this directory and then what we do is rename the main.td to patch.pd that's it we're done so now we can eject this and Try it on the organ out. Okay, so now we've seen how to create these hacked modules. 
um, that you'll be able to load into a rack and we're going to show you those on the organelle now. Um, but first I'd just like to discuss some of the limitations so that we know what we're getting here. So the first thing is that these patches haven't obviously been adapted at all to understand the uh, ORAC environment. So that means that, that there are certain things that just won't happen as normal. First thing is you won't be able to do MIDI learn on them. You won't be able to do modulation learn on them. If you do uh, save them in a preset, then none of their parameters will be saved. They will just come back as they normally start up. Um, you can also only have one of these in any given rack. Um, because otherwise they will start to interfere with each other. Um, and you may also just have odd issues. You might find that the odd one doesn't work properly um, within ORAC, or you might find that uh, it creates other issues within your ORAC. Um, this is why it's an Easter egg mode. It's not supported. I'm not gonna try to, um, to fix any of these issues. Um, we can discuss it on the forum, but essentially I'm not supporting it. Um, it's not as it's not the direction that ORAC needs to go. Um, if you want a module that works properly, then they have to be converted into ORAC modules. However, these are useful, and as I say, it's, it's great that musicians can try them out and see if they work. Now, because they have limitations, I would urge people not to start sharing them um, on things like patch storage. Um, I don't want ORAC to get a reputation from these modules uh, that things like MIDI Learn, etc., don't work. Um, it's going to be really annoying to me if I start getting support uh, requests in saying, oh, this module doesn't do X, Y, and Z, and then I find out later that it's because it's one of these hacked modules. So please don't share them. Tell people on the forums which ones work well and which ones don't work. That's absolutely fine, but please don't put them up on patch storage. Okay. So with all of that, now let's actually go and look about the good things about this, how this works. Uh, the fact that we can actually use things like sequences and FX is with it. So let's have a look at that on the organelle now. Okay, so you can see now I've got the default patch running. I've loaded up the USB drive uh, with obviously the uh, all right that I've done. So what we're going to first of all do is just initialize a patch. Um, then what we're going to do is load up one of these hacked patches to see how it works. So if we come into here, we're going to come up, because now see the new category called hack, and then let's add the additive synth. Now, sometimes you'll see that the screen doesn't initially display uh, the values. Uh, turn it up would be quite good, wouldn't it? And we can use or X facilities, so for example, we can put in a sequencer here. So that all works. Now let's in at the patch again. Um, let's go and have a look at the other one that we did. So again, I'll put it into here. Let's put um, okay. the drone synth this time. Uh, now again, let's just get some values going. Okay, that's droning. Let's add clouds as an FX after that then. I like clouds in a looping mode. So that's number one. And then we can do things like this. Now, we can do, have all sorts of 
fun with clout is always fun Fun. <laughs> Lots of droning possibilities with that. Now, one thing I want to show you very quickly, though, uh, East Mega. Now, the thing is that obviously we want uh, the patch uh, to be able to do as much as possible uh, because there's no defined UI for uh, organelle patches. So you'll find that if you press the encoder button, it doesn't actually bring up the menu. And the reason for that is because that's quite a common shortcut that they use. So there's a special one here. If you want to bring up the menu when you're on site, a hacked patch you have to basically hold down this and then press the aux button and that will bring it up and then you can do as normal you can then come into here and then for example select uh, another one of these uh, that's it or of course you could just convert it so it's again it's hold the button down press aux in it comes and then of course you could um, use another synth if you wanted to now as i say i repeat you can only have one of these hacked patches loaded at a time. Uh, if you try to do more, it, they will just interfere with each other. Um, and you, I don't think you'll actually even get audio out of the second one. But it's not supported. Uh, again, there may be little quirks, like as you've seen, the UI is not updating, etc. Um, that's just the way it is. Uh, this is an Easter egg. Um, hopefully it's useful for some things. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it.